Don't be talking to me crazy. Don't be talking to me. Instead of just doing a regular boring QA, I figured let's do a trip haul. I did go thrifting today. I did not film it though. And yes, I did put my video on private yesterday just because everyone kept commenting saying, yo, you might get a strike. Like I saw nip slips, blah, blah, blah. So it was just, I couldn't put on YouTube. I don't want to take the chance to have my channel ruined, especially because we're killing it right now. What are we at? We're at. 6,514 subs. We hit 6K two days ago, guys. We're absolutely killing it. Today we've done 19,000 views so far, which is insane. It's absolutely insane. So, like I said, we are gonna be doing a Q&A and I have a big pile of clothes to do a, a little thrift haul. So first I'll start off with a few questions and I'll show you a piece, then a few questions, show you a piece, so that way it makes it a little interesting and I'm not just reading straight questions. So the first question said, what made you get into fashion? Uh, I kind of said this in my last video, but pretty much, just my parents, we've always used to go to TG Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross every single time and every single weekend and we would get either a t-shirt or a pair of pants. You know, it wasn't be designer obviously because it's TJ Maxx or Ross, but I would always get new clothes and that just only got in fashion. And high school came and I always wanted to like show off. I think freshman and sophomore year, I would only wear polo collar shirts. Like me and my boys, would, we would be like polo boys. We would only rock polo. And then like junior and senior year was kind of like the lazy. I would just wear like literally nothing, like just sweatpants or gym shorts and a t-shirt. So that's what kind of got me into fashion. Are you going to do a meetup when you blow up? Yes, of course. Like I'll be doing like the, all the YouTube events, like every, well, I hope so. Camera collection, uh, I'm, I don't have it in hand, but for my main videos, I use a Sony a7S. And for my vlogs, I use a Canon G7X. Would you rather never do YouTube again or never thrift again? Probably never thrift again because honestly, I love making videos. So YouTube is like, that's why I, I love making the nighttime videos. I don't only do YouTube because of thrift. That's why my name is EMC Vlogs. I want it to be a vlog. I didn't want it to be like a thrifting channel. What's the most you've made in one night doing your job? Um, well, I have a flat rate fee that I've worked out with Live and Story, but I will say that there is another side way to make money there. And one weekend, I've probably made a little over 4K. So, and that's like what I bought Captain. Like, as soon as I made that money, I was like, I'm buying a dog. Like, I, I, I just, it was, it was so much. It was ridiculous. What part of the North Carolina were you born in? Uh, I was born in Charlotte. Do I have any siblings? Nope, I'm the only child. All right, so let's quickly show you guys a t-shirt now. So we have this Polo Ralph Lauren size medium with the polo spell out. But the polo is like these two, what is it, like water almost? Have you ever talked to any other YouTubers? If so, yes, I've talked to many YouTubers. Uh, Alex Wasabi actually did a video with him. He's probably the biggest YouTuber I've done but I talk to legit looks for life almost every single not every day but like every week probably Emilio have you ever been in a club with Kendrick Lamar or J Cole yes I have artists are you friends with honest, I've been doing this for two years now so I see the same faces they see me so we're kind of mutual friends as far as having like their cell phone numbers and texting them not too many not too many have you shot for Mac Miller uh, I want to say yes but I don't think it was like he him headlining it. I think I was working event that he was at and then I just happened to like catch his thing. I didn't actually shoot for him. So I guess, no, I didn't. You edit your videos at the clubs. I used to edit my videos at the club. I used to bring my computer and go in the back room and edit, but I just go home and edit and then I send it to them. What's your subscriber goal for your channel? A million plus all day. If I could have 20 million, I would have 20 million. You upload a future video explaining the beef? No, because this channel is nothing but positive vibes. I don't want to deal and want to, I don't want to give those people attention. All right, now let's jump into a shirt. This shirt is for personal. We have the 1993 NASCAR shirt. It says, think fast with a highlighter NASCAR. Favorite fast food joint, PDQ or Chick-fil-A, all day. Have you ever had an interaction between you and a huge celebrity, like talking, etc.? Yeah, I talk to almost every single one I shoot because like I said, I see them, they see me, so it's, yes, we talk for sure. What happened to your website? So there's some things going on with the website, dealing with PayPal, dealing with some other people that are trying to get the website shut down. Well, right now it is down, but don't worry, I will bring it back up in the next couple days. I'm just trying to work out some privacy and protection clause, so that way nothing fishy can go on. How'd you meet Lil Pump? Um, I Like I said, my friend Jordan, he's his photographer and well connected in the industry. Question one, have you thought of maybe doing videography for something other than clubs and besides YouTube? Um, not really. I mean, yes, I used to do videos of 
other things, but I like filming what's exciting and what I personally like. I don't want to like, people have said, why don't you do weddings? Weddings pay really well. I, weddings are boring to me. I don't want to do weddings. That's, that's not fun, no. You considered or plan to move to another city in the near future? If so, what city? Yes. Honest, once I get like a steady following and I can make a living off of YouTube, I a thousand percent plan to move. I actually want to move to Colorado, uh, city, Boulder. I, I just love it there. It's so peaceful. The people are so nice and I just can't get enough of Colorado. Also, I love cold weather like skiing and snowboarding and all that. So I love cold weather. Definitely want to get out of Florida. I hate Florida. I hate it, hate it, hate it. And as it's good opportunities, like yes, where I'm working at and whatnot and the thrifts are amazing. But if I had a steady following and I just did vlogs, I would definitely be in Colorado right now. Are you still single at this age? I'm still single because I am this age. I'm only 23, so I don't have time to deal with females right now. Females are a waste of money. They're a waste of time. Uh, if you have a girlfriend, then shout out to you. you. I had a girlfriend from 13 to like 20. And then I was like, you know what? I'm wasting money, I'm wasting time. If I would have been grinding those years, I would have been successful right now. But I wasted the time chasing girls. So chase the check, never chase the girl. What thrifts have the most heat for big guys in Miami? To be honest, just go to a Goodwill. Goodwills always produce. All right, let's jump into a shirt now. This is a long sleeve size XL. We have the guest jeans, cut and stitched on. Next, we have a Polo Ralph Lauren. This fits like a small medium with the USA spell out, color blocking. Polo on the left arm. Merchandise fam, if so, please make headbands or sweatbands. Yes, I plan to have merch, but my merch isn't gonna be like everyone else's. I'm not gonna do t-shirts. Well, I might do t-shirts, but I don't wanna do the simple like t-shirts, hoodies, and hats. I, I don't want to do that. I want something to be unique. I want something to be totally that's like part of me. So basically, I've already thought of a few things. I've thought of making my own side bag. You know, I always have my Gucci side bag or like the polo side bag. Side bags are really getting in. I, I wear one every single day, so I thought maybe having my own side bag. I've also thought about maybe having my own slides. You know, I'm, now I just recently bought a pair of Birkenstocks, so I've been using these. But I wear sandals, it's 100 plus degrees here. It's too hot to be wearing shoes. So I thought about making my own slides since everyone always likes those Gucci slides. So my merch is definitely gonna be unique. Yes, I probably will make a t-shirt just because you gotta make a t-shirt, but I'm not gonna make a hoodie. I'm probably not gonna do a hat. Like I want something definitely to be unique. As far as headbands or sweatbands, again, I don't really like that. I've seen another YouTuber recently just make it and honestly it looks dumb as hell on him so I really don't want that. What's the best item you've got at the thrift? Uh, to be honest, I've gotten so many items that are could be the best items but personally, I really like my Mickey jacket. I, I, that's really, ever all my Tommy jackets I pretty much bought resold. I've never really thrifted my Tommy grails. I did thrift that Mickey grail for $3.50 so I guess that or like the Polo USA but if, if you're talking about best item as in most expensive then it's definitely not the mickey but if you're talking about the most like the best item for personal then i would probably say the mickey jacket for sure who's your favorite rapper so many honestly i i couldn't get into that supreme or bape supreme all day who's your favorite artist and favorite song right now i don't have a favorite artist but my favorite song right now would have to be kodak black there you go i've been listening to that like like non-stop like crazy all right let's jump into another find so we have a youth large so pretty much a men's small medium we have the celtics number 34 pierce this is an adidas jersey nba patch then we have a size adult large we have this kiss 1997 to 2000 the farewell tour and then on the back we have kiss I low-key might keep this for personal because this is fire. Swishers or backies. Back with gang all day. Three grams of my wood like a boss. <laughs> this vintage champion, Chicago Bulls, number one. And you're probably thinking Derrick Rose. No, it is Tommy Hilfiger, my dude. Look at that. Tommy. Tommy. I'm guessing this is a custom jersey and obviously the white is painted. So I'm probably going to do like a restoration video on this to show you guys how to maybe paint and fix this lettering. And I, I think I'm probably gonna keep this. Just says says Tommy. It'd be cool if it said Hill Figure, but you guys know I'm a Tommy Hill Figure fan. So to kind of have a custom jersey, it is a size 44, so it'll definitely fit me. But it was still a nice find. 
How long have you been doing YouTube? Um, I mean, this channel has been up for seven months. Well, actually, it's been up for a year, but I started the Thrift channel seven months ago. I guess you could say seven months, but to be honest, I've been trying to be a YouTuber for like four years now. I've already tried the nightclub videos, and like I said, it wasn't getting any views. But now I'm posting nightclub videos, and they're absolutely killing it. So now I think I'm going to be start doing that. Tonight, actually, I'm shooting French Montana, so tonight should be a good vlog for sure. How much do you make off of YouTube? Uh, to be honest, right now I'm not making too much. A uh, couple hundred bucks a month. This is just the beginning, you know, a channel always starts somewhere. You always have to start somewhere. Once you get to the top, then you're at the top, and there's nothing really that can stop you. So... One day, one day. Do you want to collab with any other YouTubers? If so, which ones? To be honest, I'm always down to collab. If you notice, I haven't done any collabs at all, and there's not no reason for that, but I figured, hey, let me try to do it on my own, and so far I'm killing it. But I would definitely love a collab, you know? Anyone, fashion or non-fashion, I would definitely collab with them. What's your dream car? So, I have many dream cars. Uh, now this might sound stupid, but I always said like once I make it, I want like a lifted F-250 on like 26 inch, on like 40 inch tires, just like redneck style. But to be honest, I've been thinking about it and once I make it or once like I make a good enough money where I can buy whatever car I want, I'm probably going to start off with like a 4x4 Mercedes squared, like a G-Wagon, um, and just like wrap it and do some crazy stuff to it, lift it and whatnot. I was originally, like I said, gonna get an F-250, but I think that if I'm gonna be spending that kind of money, just go Mercedes, you know, go all out. And I do plan on having like little sports cars later down. Why don't you move to Miami? Seems like you're always down there. The reason why is Miami is super expensive. I cannot afford Miami at all. A two bedroom apartment in Miami is probably about four to $5,000. Insane, insane money. Now, once I do become successful, I do plan on buying a property in Miami. Like I plan on buying an apartment or a condo on South Beach. My ultimate like lifetime goal, I'll put, no one really asked that, but I, since somebody asked that, I figured I would tell you guys. My ultimate lifetime goal is to have a condo or apartment in South Beach, buy my mom a condo, buy my dad a condo, have a house in Fort Lauderdale, and have a house in Colorado. So five properties I plan on having. I see all these YouTubers buying all these cars and buying all these designer, like just wasting and blowing their money. And I'm thinking you should just be investing that into property. Property is always going to get you money back. You know, you invest in it, you pay the mortgage, and then eventually that that becomes yours and it makes you hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars, depends how much you buy it for. Also, I thought about the Miami apartment, what I was going to do is buy it to lease. So I'd buy it and then strictly rent it out. Why? Because the mortgage would be 2,000 and then you can rent it out for 3,500, four grand and you're making two grand a month off of just that property alone. Just for the, for the older people, you kind of understand. For the younger people, you're probably like, what did he just say? But let's jump into his shirt. This shirt is so fire and honestly, I wish it wasn't a reprint. I was so heated when I found it was a reprint. It's a size XL. We have the Guns N' Roses, the Illusion Tour shirt. front and back, which you never see. Usually if it's a reprint, it's always gonna be just a front print, but the fact that it's front and back was pretty fire, pretty fire. All right, it seems like we're already doing it, so let's do a couple more questions. I'll show you the final piece and just wrap this video up. Tommy or Polo? If you've been watching my videos, you should know what I'm about to say. Tommy all day, man. Tommy for your mommy. Other thrift YouTubers do you watch? Uh, Fresh from the Flea, Paul Cantu, Jacob Star. Fashion YouTubers, yeah, I think that's like mainly the the three people that I watch. Oh, that pretty much wraps it up. Let me just show you the final t-shirt that we have. This is a size large liquid blue Grateful Dead shirt in like the tie-dye. Just a crazy shirt. So, unfortunately, that's all I have for today's vlog. Again, tonight I am shooting French Montana, so make sure you guys come back tomorrow for that. Like this kind of video, you know, the Q&A slash thrift haul, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I will see you guys tomorrow, and don't forget, guys, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I got a lot on my mind, yeah. I put that grub on my mind, yeah. I got a lot on my mind, yeah. I put that none on your mind. Don't talk to me crazy. Don't talk to me